And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Swain. Going to be our first of three ranked donation decks today. These are all from Cabo, one of our viewers here in chat. Uh, this one looks pretty fun. I've always enjoyed playing Teemo Swain back in the day with Piltoverns on, uh, but I haven't tried it yet with Bandal City, and that's what we got here. We're going to have a Teemo Swain deck with Bandal, Bandal City because Bandal City has given us some new good... Um, uh, puff cap cards. We got poison darts and more importantly lecturing yordle This card should be awesome in this kind of deck And the reason why puff caps are really good with Swain is because puff caps count as non-combat damage to level up Swain And then when you have a leveled up Swain puff caps do count as you know non-combat damage to the enemy nexus So if they draw puff caps at the round start they will uh, have their strongest back row enemy stunned. So that, that's a pretty cool combination. Uh, so we're going to have that. So this is going to be like a control deck that can actually have like some um, a pretty pretty fast way to turn the corner. If you can get them like you know, having a whole lot of puff caps, uh, you know, you can get some good nexus damage in like that. And then there's just also other uh, various good nexus damage things. We're going to have, uh, you know, Leviathans to go with the Swain, of course. We're going to have a shell game. In here that could be awesome with the Swain, uh, you know, give it elusive and plus one plus one this round to help it, you know, Nexus Strike itself, and then uh, you know do lots of damage. And then you also just have the card advantage the Bandal City provides. Your Bandal City Mayor, your Loping Telescope, Conchologist, Pokey Stick, you know, you have a lot of card advantage hidden pathways in that region as well. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty good deck. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in ranked with Teemo Swain. I think the mayor is going to be creating the multi-region card itself. Yeah, I, yeah, I love those scorched earths in here. I could definitely see playing more scorched earths, for sure. There's only the two in here. Um, I, that was one thing that I saw. I was like, oh man, scorched earth seems really good these days, and yeah, I wouldn't necessarily mind having another one. All right, so we got uh, conchologist on two with this with this keep. We have conchologist on two, and then. Uh, Sentry plus Flock. Oh, I thought that was Scorched Earth right here. I was like, man, we just made another one. But, I mean, I guess we could take the Guillotine, I suppose. Let us take a peek at life guillotine could kill, like, an Arsenal and something else. Conchologist does seem great in this deck. Like, just Noxus as a region has some really good quality spells. So do we use a Flock on Zillion? So, like, there's times, like, they just want their Zillion to die. I think it's a tough call. Leave me here. Oh yeah, they can't have Arsenal, because that's Bandle City. Well, I don't know, we'll kill something with that. I also kinda wanna keep man you know, like save just save my spell mana so we can play this next round with Poison Dart. Maybe I just put po Pokey Stick? Since Pokey Stick only costs one mana right now. Because otherwise we would have wasted that mana. And it could just be damaged. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. It wouldn't you know it, I picked the wrong mushrooms. Our behavior. Heads up. Might as well just do damage to them. I don't expect them to have Nexus healing. These are my streets. Sister. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. Yeah, Conchologist with Swain is amazing. Yeah, that, that yeah, this is a, such a good region for Conchologist. Um, all right. If you dealt damage to the enemy Nexus four plus time, grant me impact four times. I guess we take that card. I don't really care about these other two. Let's go. Grab my hat. Comb my Seems like that has some pretty good potential. All right, so I'm doing this right now. So that's damage to the Nexus the third time. Whoops. And then they draw a puff cap. 
Oh, they were supposed to draw a puff cap. And then that was going to be number four. Man, we got a lot of sentries. Persistence is key. That was supposed to be four. And then, yeah, this is a summon. I guess it wasn't very likely that they would draw a puff cap, I suppose. Loyalty through conquest. Come on, draw that puff cap. They're just sitting with like a one damage thing. Hmm. Just kills the swain anyway. Coughing. No more, Mr. Nice Purple. No more. My plans. Ah! I'm a hero. I mean, it's not worth wasting. All right, so if I attack like this. You know, they have the 4-6 block the 5-4. If I attack like this, we kill the 2-1 and then they kill Swain. But we keep we keep Furious Fae Folk alive and they take 4. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. I think the Swain's going to probably die anyway. No. Hmm. Okay, yep. So Swain was going to die anyway. We shall get the impact four. Okay, bye. Timo's only at nine. Watch I, of course, want to play Leviathan this round. Mustache ready. Can you guess my favorite herb? Time, Sage. Hmm, this is a joke, right? Branch it out. And they had a lot of echoes. All right, we will now kill the Zillion so that it doesn't level up. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking stun, stun, stun. After stun, 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 we can get some attacks. Oh. Okay, so those two block there and there. That blocks there. They take three down to four. Round start, we deal three, which puts them down to one, and all they gotta do is draw one of these little puff caps. And GG's with the puff cap. There it is. Alright, Timo Swain, one and oh. 
Good start. GG's. Dragons. Dragons are really hard to beat with Swain. This is uh, a matchup that could be pretty tough. Okay, so if we can find, you know, three damage done, Flock could help maybe take out a Shivana. I kind of like double Bandle City Mayor. It, you know, it's a different, uh, different kind of start, but kind of like it. Perfect. No, not perfect anymore. He's a dragon chow. So I didn't play Loping Telescope on two because we could uh, potentially just play it for cheaper. Mm. If they didn't have that challenger, we would have been able to play our other Bandle City Mayor next round and then like double free telescope. This requires my largest official hat. I am yeah, this is just so messed up how good this is. I know, right? We need some mini morphs in here. Man, that thing still stays six health. Exactly. See any of these really helping out? I think I'll. I guess. Let us take a peek I don't know. Maybe the might. In combat. Obviously, the Shivana that we have to be the most worried about. Oh dear. We got some boats. I've got your back. It's crazy how many cards we have to try to use on the Shivana to try to kill it. We've already used three cards, and it's a, and it's also killed a a, ban of, a mayor. So it's already taken out four cards right now. Pokestick, a Ravenous Flock, that one damage thing we just had, and a Bandle City Mayor. It's taking out four cards. They're just gonna have these two fight.
That's why I... I don't want the money, but... This card's impossible to kill! It's not only impossible to kill, but it also just creates removal spells every single time it attacks. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, it gets he it still gets healed from that straight from that strafing strike. I was hoping to find another flock or something. Maybe we could use a guillotine in, in here for like just just normally. Like there's only the two scorchers in here, but with dragons being so popular, I, I think that we could use a guillotine or two. To try to just take down a bunch of damaged dragons. I think that would make sense. Reporting in. So they must have a really in soul in hand. They wanted to play the Eclipse Dragon first for Daybreak. Finally, something that kills Shivana. It'll just be our like seventh card for Shivana. But yeah, they have a Lancel. Hello, Let's rock. The witch card. How close are you to level up? Not very, okay. Alright, that's gonna be... If I block both, it really until levels up. No. Are we getting Dreadway in play or Leviathan? I guess Leviathan. Destination in sight. So we have to have, hope they have like no fight spells and no obliterates that they made and no sharp sights. <laughs> oh, our chances of winning are so slim. By my hand, will Noxus rise, Grand General. My shield is yours. Yeah, I was kind of planning on doing the elusive, but. Maybe not. Maybe we go conchologist. Yeah, what wondrous discoveries await below? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about single combat or any fight spells or anything. Okay, so they just have sharp sights and fight spells. My collection. So I haven't played any of their celestial cards that are about to cost zero. Okay. Dragons are messed up. It's so hard to beat dragons this Wayne. But I think guillotines and scorchers, like we need more of those kind of cards. Guillotine could be the card. You get all these like little pokey sticks and stuff like that. Could be the card. Okay, so Pike Rexi. We want uh, want to be able to kill lots of stuff. They could have the one health fearsome things, which is why I wanted to keep the Pokey Stick. Pupcat Pup can trade with other things. Watch your head. You didn't find space for Noxian Guillotine. Well, I mean, you don't have. Yeah, like there's no. It's it's always okay to. I mean, get rid of the shell game. 
it is okay to punt matchups, and that with Swain, Swain's really hard to beat dragons, and so it looks like we have no chance to beat dragons. And that's not the worst thing. You know, if you have, what, I, what I'm trying to say is, if, if there's a matchup that's really, really bad, sometimes it's better instead of, like, trying to play a couple of cards that try to make it, um, where it's still going to be a bad matchup, is just to ignore it and try to win ev against every other deck. And that's a respectable strategy. I'd rather have Guillotine over, like, Weight of Judgment. Because whenever we're playing like all these different poking sticks and stuff like that, like we can guillotine. Um, and I'd rather be doing that. You haven't played against dragons recently? Yeah, dragons are like the most popular deck by a long ways, right? Dragons are everywhere. How are we doing, Timo? Only six? That's not very much. Well, this layer is actually not bad here. We'd have to, you know, get rid of like this two three and stuff. But like, if we are clearing out other things, Roar the Slayer can kill, you know, like a, a Pike or a Rexai. We can discard like the Shell Game. Really considered a pass there. It only wastes two mana, but you know, like. Definitely thought of that. Also thought about, you know, like we could attack Pokey Stick when they block with the Puff Cap Pup, but I love that. Never know what hit him. Not for everyone. I could see the attack with everything being the better play than not attacking with everything. What wondrous discoveries await below? I'm not sure what that, you know, Transfusion and uh, Whirling Death, those were definitely the two that I was looking at. That's a tough choice. Okay, so that's what I kind of imagined that would be their challenge, and so this. that team mode would be like ultra dead so we can kind of just kill it and kind of get a nice little kill here too yep. Should have attacked with everything that it's previous okay. round. So they're going to waste some more mana than I do. Oh, man. That's nice for them. Okay, so we know they got a Rek'Sai over there. Must have like a lot of bone skewers in hand and stuff. Like we, so we know that they have the uh, challenger, like the the one that the one that grants vulnerable. That one. Another day in the field. So now we know they have Rek'Sai. 
I wanted to do that after drawing because I didn't want to draw another Teemo. Even though we would have gave them those pop caps first. I don't want to draw a Teemo. Yep, and there's Bone Skewer. We know they just kind of have more Bone Skewers. But that's Bone Skewer not killing my Leviathan, so that's good. A conquest for Empire! All right, so if I, if we Equinox this, it just gets rid of that minus, like it doesn't like really help, does it? Cause, cause it's like lurkers just get, you know, it doesn't take away this. And like these lurks are like, these things get granted that. So I think it may actually do nothing. Okay, chat says it'll still do the minus six, but then it'll just, it'll get new lurks in the future, but it will get that minus six minus zero. Okay, so it's a two seven right now, but then it, you know it's still a lurker, so it'll still grow, but that'll still make life easier. Love that draw. That draw is so good against Rexai. Play this this Swain they know about. So we have to hope that they miss lurk. They haven't set it up at all. If they miss Lurk here, we're good. Like, we're golden if they miss Lurk. Please miss Lurk, please miss Lurk. No, 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 no. Just pass. 7 2. No, they hit. Alright, so this. Oh. oh, that's round end. Place me into your deck. Oh, I was thinking. Okay, I need to read the cards. <laughs> I'm sorry. That still gets placed into the deck round end. I was thinking, like, if it had 10 power, then it wouldn't get place into the deck. I don't know why. That was I just wasted that, but I dealt I did that for a reason. And the reason was Actually that that's actually going to work out just fine. We have 4 damage on them. To love to go towards leveling up Swain. Now it's 12. It'll work out just fine. Victory awaits. <laughs> yep, that was that's what I was doing the whole time. I was leveling Swain. So now we have either like Pogey Stick, Stun, Sandstone Charger. Or we have Chevalier. Fearsome Overwhelm Spell Shield, like 10 power, Fearsome Overwhelm Spell Shield. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Great draw, great draw. Uh, I was hoping they would play something else first, and I could put the stick. It's done. No. Let's be down to six. I do love Conchal just continually making Noxian guillotines for us. That's really nice. Yeah, we'll guillotine next round. Obviously. Oh no, come on! Oh man, what a killer! They just created a Jawfish? Like, the only card that we couldn't beat. Wow, the only card we couldn't beat. Wait, what? Guillotine works through Spell Shield? What? I need just a moment. I don't think it works through Spell Shield. I think it'll create another copy. I don't think you just... I don't think it just works. It, it creates another copy for you. Like, it'll, like the first one will take out the spell shield. It'll just create another copy. Okay, so this was the card they put... They just put that back on top, whatever they just drew. Okay. 
Oh, you were saying it was bugged last season and that worked? Oh, well, I don't, I don't want to try to win through a bug anyway. That's, that, I don't want to do that. We know that top card's a lurk card that they hit before on a previous round with lurk. Oh, I guess I could have done that first because that I could have just hit him with the Teemo. Whoops. Should have done that first because I could have hit him with the Teemo. I was just seeing, you know, I was kind of like, giving them opportunity to play something. Oh, they never did. I didn't exactly see if that was the card they just played or not. I guess Kingpin we can cast right now. Which I want to play Leviathan next round, so like we're gonna take I Kingpin. Make a speech. Where's my speech? Well, I got big plans for this place. Prepare for anything. All right, gets him down to three. Dude, these jawfishes are killing me. The cargo. Round start win. Pass. And round, there we go. Good job, Leviathan. Woo. We survived like triple jawfish. Wow. Two and one. Guillotine definitely looked great there that you know we got to create with Conchologist. Lucian Taric. Leviathan gone. I think we just keep the rest. You know, we don't have the flock yet for the sentry, but I think we still just keep sentry, you know, like against like a Taric deck. I think that's worth it. And I think I think lecturing Yordle's a keep. Go get him, Teemo. Teemo v Sharp Sight, not the best, as we saw the second game whenever we played against dragons. But we're still going to be keeping it. There's a chill in the air. Maybe I should just take the Pup Cap Pup. Man, Dragon's Rage could be awesome, but that's waiting a while. Or we can get the Moon Silver to try to just get ahead. I should probably just take the moons over. Burn away the shadows. So we'll kind of see if they're keeping sharp side available. That's what it looks like they're doing. Yeah, Dragon's Rage, Rage with Swain's awesome. Dragon's Rage with Teemo is awesome, because, you know, that's, that is Teemo Nexus striking. If we have leveled up Teemo with that Dragon's Rage, uh, you know, we could... You know, get, like, the double puff caps and everything. see how we win this. I guess we have to just start going upstairs with everything. Because they're obviously they obviously just have tons of pump spells and they're just gonna be able to save these. Next thing I know, I'm up my bridges in purple berries. You know, like if I try double poison dart on, on the Lucian, like that's not gonna work. No, we could attack with everything. Right. 
Oh well, uh, if we're gonna be doing direct damage to them anyway. Wow. Okay. So we'll have Toph. So only one mana left. I could probably kill this Lucian. It's like if I go, yeah, I know the Toph. Like we could take out the barrier, but then Toph. I could do one, one here, then block with the three five, and then one again. Oh but no, then it gets the tough. Never mind. Yeah, I think Nexus is the way to go. I agree with y'all. Unyielding. Draw four puff caps. None. Gross. Break their spirits and their swords. Otherwise, they would probably, you know, Zenith Blade the Taric and copy that over to the protege. Like, if I stun the Lucian. So they still have the same amount of Overwhelm either way, I guess. Definitely aloof travelers have them draw another card, have towards drawing more puff caps. Okay, so that's three. Let's go puff caps. None again. You dropped something. I dropped everything. And there's the three. Okay, zero zero three. That's the puff cap life. Do do. All right, we have uh, Ziggs Talia. This is an arsenal deck. I like the Scorched Earth. Those can go. Love Conchologist. Finding me more cool things. Not flammable? Is that a challenge? Nope. Not a challenge at all. See you later. Blood for blood. Do we want a copy of Bandle City Mayor? Or even a copy of Conchologist? Or do you just want a sharpened resolve? I don't know. We'll copy our own things. Our, our things are cool. If the Mobile X version of this deck doesn't have the arsenal, that would be... Endless Devout is always the card. Our win rate versus Endless Devout is very low. I got big plans for this place. Okay. 
pass. Cool. We didn't. We don't want Endless Devout to die anyway because of Talia. I do like making their life kind of difficult of having their board filled with stuff. All right, Timo, you're at six. I guess we do this, though. Okay, not exact copy. Regular copy. Yeah, oh, I know. Oh, I, I know it wouldn't work on... It wouldn't actually work on the arsenal. That... Yeah, I know it actually wouldn't work there, but... Okay. The lowest cost card. I don't love any of these. I guess I'm going to take a death stand. I don't love it. Own minefield. Why do you keep playing these minefields? I wonder why they want all these minefields to play. Like, are they scared of like this three-two attacking? Because it's not attack. It wasn't attacking anyway. All right. Good thing we took the death hand because death hand plus flock can kill Italia. Swain. Four? <laughs> That's not very much. I just can't wait! Here we go! Time to bust out some combustion! Throw him away! Yeah, why not? Does it? Desert speech. Desert Naturalist is really good. So blood for blood on the Leviathan could be pretty awesome. Ooh. I wonder if this is gonna work. They've already used like all their stun cards. Can we actually get a nice shell game? Get a good shell game in here? Alright, so they could still have quicksand. Hopefully not. There's no reason not to attack with this card. The old shell game? I suppose you'll do. Damage, yes. No mini morph. No put sand. Look for everyone. Ooh, quite a collection. They could have just blocked that King Pain with something else, and they could have kept that two one alive if they wanted. Boo. Why is the arsenal so busted? Scout and lifesteal? And elusive? And overwhelm? Why is that card so busted?
uh, spell shield. It's a thing of beauty. Did somebody say explosives? I guess we just get another ravenous flock. Just in case the first one doesn't work. What wondrous discoveries await below? This thing doesn't have overwhelm. Oh, but they were getting another keyword on here. Thankfully, they only hit fearsome. Okay, so we can play block, block like that. That if we want damage on that thing, we could do this. Down to one. Going down to one no matter what, though. Oh, but then, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Or, wait. This they call me the awesome. Mm. GG's. I kill that thing, but this Ziggs. Man, what a powerful attacker Ziggs is for three mana. So they got to unleash energy it and absolvers return it. Good hand opponent. Good hand. Those desert naturalists were awesome. Having multiple of those, then that arsenal was clutch. And obviously Ziggs plus Absolver is just an insane attacker. Okay, so I think what we learned here is we need Noxion Guillotine. I think that's what we learned. Noxion Guillotine was an all-star when we had it. Both games that we lost, we needed Noxion Guillotine. It would have been clutch in all those games we were losing. We needed that. Shell game was really cute. I don't know if this is actually very good, though. But it's it's cute. But I don't think this is like a, a way to win games. I think I'd rather just have the, the Guillotine. Besides that, it's not like I really want to take out anything else. I like the Puffcat Pups. There's nothing else I really want to take out, but I think I think getting a guillotine in there would be really clutch. Yeah, it's hard not to play Mini Morph, isn't it? I feel like Loping Telescope is better than Bandle City Mayor, but Bandle City Mayor can make Loping Telescope and can make it cheaper. It's hard not to play three Loping Telescopes, though. It's tough to fit them in, though. I don't know exactly. Like, I like all 40 here. I would also really like a, a third Loping Telescope, and I would like a Mini Morph or two. But I don't really see anything to take out. Because I, I don't think you really take out the Puff Cat Pup. I think the Pup does some good work for you. And it, it really helps enable like your Teemos and stuff. Yeah, you would never take out Arachnoid Sentry. Like Hidden Pathways, maybe? You could go to like two of those? Like, you know, maybe you just go with like a third... Like, maybe it's better to go three Telescope, two Pathways. Maybe? But the Pathways are really good when you're playing so many one and two mana cards. Especially like all these one mana cards. Because we, we do run out of cards. But... Loping Telescope helps with that also. I think I would prefer two Pathways, three Telescopes just to begin with, though. I think Telescope probably a better card than Pathways. I guess you could play, yeah, I guess you could play like two Poison Darts. Maybe you don't need three of these whenever you have the Lecturing Urals creating them also. I could I could hear that argument, getting a one Mini Morph in over the third Poison Dart. Okay, so there we go. I like this. I like this. Now we have a Mini Morph in here. Now we have a Guillotine in here. Those are both awesome. We got another loping telescope in here. because, Yeah, I like that. All right, this looks good. Okay, so there's Timo Swain. Still very impressive. You know, 3-2 and ranked. That's a good win rate. And we had some good wins. And I think that this could help uh, even going forward. Just having, you know, having access to a mini morph and a, and a guillotine and getting that third telescope in there. We had that one game like where we had all those telescopes. That was pretty cool. All right, I like it. So those of y'all uh, watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Try out this new list. Let me know how it goes. Just in general, try this deck out. I think this was a, a fun deck to play and it looks strong. And so that's a, you know, that's that's a good combination. It was fun and strong. And it's Swain. You know, Swain's always fun to play. All right, but that's going to be it for Timo Swain. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.